percentages of fractions with a denominator of 100. The symbol for percent is like that. So here we have a fraction bar and we can see that it's split into 100 pieces and we have 74 of those pieces shaded. So as a fraction we could write what we see as 74 over 100. As a decimal we could write 0 0.74 because we know that the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredths digit and we have 74 hundredths. Notice also that what we have is the same as 7 tenths and 4 hundredths so that's why we have 0 0.74. But we can also write what we see here as a percentage. That's 74%. Notice it's not 74 over 100% because the percentage sign tells us that it has a denominator of 100. The percentage sign tells us that it's a fraction over 100. So here, as a fraction, we have 57 hundredths as a decimal we have 0 0.57 and as a percentage we have 57%. And in this fraction bar we have 30 hundredths which we can write as a decimal as 0 0.3. We could write 0 0.30 but remember we don't need zeros on the ends of decimals. So because 30 hundredths is the same as 3 tenths we can just write 0 0.3. As a percentage, we can write 30% because we have 30 parts out of 100 and the percent sign tells us out of 100.